In my childhood, I had enjoyed a lot of video games. I had a Nintendo 64 and a PSX back then. Good times they were. No worries. Just play and flee into your safe world of free, human or other cuddly characters dancing over the TV screen. Back then I had owned an unusual copy of the sequel to the first Spiro game. In the cover, it didn't say Spiro, gateway to glimmer with the picture of Spiro running away from some kind of monster. It only had a render of Spiro plastered in a black background and the text just said Spiro 2. I never knew what was wrong the game. As a kid it played perfectly normal, until the day I did up the game to place it in my PS2 I had purchased lately to relieve the fun moments of my childhood. The company screens flashed over the screen and the usual, small introduction scene of the caveman running away from some monster thing. Spiro didn't come flying over, but I remember he never did, but only now, since I've watched some out of gamma play I knew it was unusual. I started my own save file. I had last saved in Summer Forest. The happy area, where you first met Alora, the goat, air fun. Hunter and the Doctor died after escaping from Glimmer. The game was 100% completed. I spawned at the little forest area. One of the first things I noticed was Elora was missing. Usually she was standing by the bridge, giving a short introduction to this area, when you talk to her. I passed over the bridge and proceeded. Strangely, the happy colors of the game had faded. I thought it was just my memory but it was slowly losing more and more color, like the place was decaying. The flowers wilted and the portals to the different worlds weren't working and they were grown over with moss, or whatever that green stuff was. When I looked at the castle thing, the flags at the sides were different. It wasn't the Ripto flag, but it wasn't the flag you got after you beat Ripto out of the area either. It was just pitch black. I needed a few seconds, but then I realized the soothing theme song of the area wasn't playing either. It was nothing but silence. I thought my game was broken and proceeded. I randomly explored the empty area, which started to scare me. Hunter and the fairy were missing as well. I swam through the water into the palace and started to look around there. In the area you could unlock by paying the greedy bear die I saw another portal. It had a starry blue background. Kinda pretty. The name said ruined. I wasn't that surprised at the title and the background glitch. The game did this to me before and I didn't care. I went into the portal and I was surprised to see I landed in nothing but a cube platform that was just big enough for me to stand in. I went into first person view to look around. I saw nothing. Nothing but the background from the winter area, which slowly grew darker. I felt unnerved. Not even this odd copy of mine didn't have these kinds of errors. As soon as I pushed the control stick forward Spiro fell off the platform and died. I respond in the box. The background already became too dark, no. Now it was pitch black. Even the box wasn't seen anymore. Just Spiro, trying to keep his balance in the tiny platform. I didn't know what this meant. I couldn't bring up the pause menu to leave the level. I still had 43 lives, so it would take a while to get out of the level. This started to really scare me. I went into first person view and looked around again. What do I do here? Is something going to happen? Yes, actually. I nearly jumped, as eyes opened in front of me. I saw these eyes before. They weren't really scary, it just startled me. It took me a second to realize they were Lord's eyes. Texture glitch? No. A text box opened up. Elora, Spiro, you're here. I pressed X to proceed. Elora, I know something terrible happened to you. Terrible? I don't get it. Okay, I died once, but I knew it was impossible for her to know. Elora, I'm sorry for what these people did to you. 
It almost makes me wish you were forgotten. Like us. Forgotten? I didn't remember that dialogue. Even as a kid. Even weirder was it was also dubbed. Or maybe I just heard her oh so familiar voice in my head. Spiro started to fade into the black. In the last glimpse I had of him, he was falling, but I didn't die. A picture started to clear up in front of me. It was some kind of almost dark looking forest area with some kind of crystals scattered around and Spiro landed. Only he was much bigger now and he looked more mature, like in the recent games. I turned the camera around Spiro to see what he looked like. He really resembled his looks from the newer Spiro games. The camera freezing at the front view, another text box popped up. Spiro, what happened to me? Where is everybody I knew? Who are these people? I was a bit irritated at who are these people. The camera sway back behind Spiro to show some purple dragon with horns, a pink one, a red one and some other dragons I didn't recognize. I could make out what characters they were supposed to be. Not seeing them as highly detailed models, but as cruddy PSX boxes made it hard for me. But I recall Cinder, the purple one, Ember, the pink one and Flame, the red one, but I really didn't know the rest, and I didn't care. Elora, these are your new friends, right? The screen faded to black again and the odd characters vanished. I could see a really dark gray way in front of me and I could run along it. I kept going, as more text boxed came up, but I could still control Spiro. Elora, odd, isn't it? You never saw us again. We were forgotten deleted from existence. Thrown away like garbage. This wasn't normal. The thought finally made its way into my head. This wasn't normal. Who could have known Elora and the other characters were forgotten? It couldn't be Elora, right? Elora isn't real, is she? I bumped into a wall, automatically turning around and I saw Elora standing behind me. She was still the odd, but also pretty looking fun I remembered, only she had a more sad looking expression on her face. This was too much for me. Enough. I reached for the console and turned it off. It shut off normally, of course and I placed down the controller to get myself something to drink. This stuff gave me a headache. It wasn't an error. It wasn't something the developers could have possible planned. What was going on? I didn't even really want to know. I got myself a glass of water and decided to go to bed. It was late and I had to go to college tomorrow anyway. A week had passed, the events still bothering me. When I arrived at home I almost instantly walked off to turn on my PS to console. I wanted to see if the odd events would still happen. The title sequence didn't even come on and the screen remained black. Did it break? Just then a Lorian Spiro faded into view walking alongside each other. Cute. Elora and Spiro made a cute couple. At least I thought so. Elora, Spiro, there are more people that were forgotten like me, and ruined like you. She whispered softly. She held her hand out, as the camera waved past them to reveal what was in front of them. More polygon models I didn't remember. For some reason, the ending cutscene's music played, where the future of the characters were displayed in the book. It kind of soothed me. The first model showed a character very similar to Elora, only she had smaller ears at the top of her head and normal legs as well as a black nose. It had a blue jacket and boots, red hair and a purple color, except for the chest and the face. That part was cream. I didn't recognize this character. Not a chance. The next one was some kind of top top cream colored bear almost with an unusually small body for the game and a huge head. His nose was the biggest part of him and he had green eyes and a yellow rectangle on top of his nose. I could make out he wore red pants and a red scarf as well as a brown vest. 
He had a short tail with a brown tip. He wore no shoes. He had paws his feet instead. I didn't recognize the character either. Another one was shown. He has a long nose, almost like a mouse and he had a more serious expression. He wore some kind of blue armor that almost took up his entire body. A long, green tail swayed as his idle animation played. I could notice he also had whiskers. He had some kind of sword in his hand. Still, I couldn't recognize that one. The fourth one was obviously some kind of fine-dressed Jekko. He had a smug grin on his face as he fixed his outfit up a little. No. I didn't remember him either. This one was the saddest character I saw. He looked like he had tears in his eyes. It was a kind of cartoony cat with a white t-shirt with a... in it. He had a little snaggle tooth in each side of his mouth and huge, trustful eyes as well as big hands and paws. He was almost brown colored. His sad look kinda hit me. The show ended and the camera swayed back to Elorian Spiro. Spiro had a surprised expression. Elora looked more serious than sad now. Elora, don't blame them. Blame the ones who abandoned and murdered them. Elora, Alex, please, spread our story. Please don't let us fade away even more. We don't want to. Just as Elora wanted to finish, the console shut off. As I realized it was steaming I quickly ripped the cable out so it wouldn't do any damage. My poor, beloved PS2 was fried, but I wasn't mad. I didn't know the characters who were shown there, but I promised I will remember them. I am kind of thankful Laura told me these things. She even called me by my name. I know this is more than just something the developers thought of, so I will spread their story. Please, can anybody tell me what these characters were I didn't recognize? I need to know. Thank you.